my basic body that I drafted out in the last video. So this is my basic body that I drafted out. I'm going to use it to construct this corset. All I have to do is to pin then trace out So the next thing for me to do is um, I will start altering the dots for the front. So since here, here is 1.5, so I'm going to subtract this 1.5 or I'm going to remove that. Um, what's my waist? My waist is uh, 32 divided by 4. We give me 8. So I'm going to measure it. So I still have 1.5 here. So since I have this 8, I'm going to connect this line to this point. I'm going to demarcate the line so that you will see what I'm doing. So this that will be closed. We are going to close here. There will be no that there any longer. Traced out our upper bodies. The next is to use your either you buy your ready made uh, pad or you use your what's it called? You make one for yourself using the easiest method by using a zigzag stitch. So from here I'm going to measure my underboss. My underboss is 14 and half. So I'm going to cut out for, I'm going to mark out 14 and a half all through. So here is my chest line, bust line, under bust line, and then my waist line. So this is my cup, my red made cup. So the next thing for me, what we are going to do now is from the bust line, depending on the space you want to give at the bust, the middle bust, is either you use one or you use half inch, depending on what you want. So me, I'm going to use half inch, half because this this will be on fold. Half inch plus half inch will give us one. So I'm going to mark out half inch. Remember that is on fold. Your center, this is center front, supposed to be on fold. This is my chest line. This is my bust line. This is my under bust. So I'm going to use my cup. So I'm, I will make sure that my cup lies under the under bust. So normally, your corset is supposed to be one inch down your bust line so that it will balance like so it will balance or uh, if you want it to be equal your bust will also show up here so that's why we slant that's why they slant it a little bit so that your bust will not show 
so i'm going to place my corset here and then mark out the point at this half inch so mine is one exactly so that's why you, you know you will come down or it normally you will come down by one from your bust line so i will place my cup and start shifting it slanty just hold your cup don't press your cup like this so and then cough don't press it just hold it so that the cup will be up and you will get what you want okay i have carved out my uh, corset so i'm going to use my hand to blend it out here is not necessary because you already have your cup with you so this is it so another thing is this line is four so i'm going to measure four from the center front so that when cutting i will not make mistake okay perfect Some will say come up here like, but me, I like it to be straight. So did you see, whatever I have here at the armhole, whatever that is left here, down here, I will measure it out, that's uh, 0.75. So I'm going to come down here and measure 0.75. Then uh, use my curve to curve it out. So from this point, So from this point, I'm going to determine or determine the how deep I want the back to be. So I'm going to make mine to be 10. So from here, I'm going to connect the lines together. So that's for my back. So that's for my back. Then for my front, we are good to go. I think I'm through with the front. So the next thing for you to do, if he's going to have, uh, if he's going to have yoke, whatever you trim out here, whatever you cut out here, like this. You can as well decide from here. You shape it. Or you make it sweetheart, depending on what you want to achieve. So that here will have space. Or you can just curve it out like this. So here we have space and your yoke will be here. Remember after cutting out your yoke for remember to add your seam allowance to it. So from here, I'm going to label, here is 1, this side is 2, then here is 3, here is 4. So here is times 2, here is times 2, number 2 is times 2, why number 1 is times 1? Because it's going to be on fold. So I'm going to cut out, 
I'm going to cut it out now, then add my necessary steam allowances to it. I'm going to cut the middle part, that's the boss pan. I'm going to pin here. Can you see what I did? So I have now my one and my two with that I labeled out. So the next is to trace out the three and four parts. This is what I have, my one and my two, then three and four. You can notice that two is longer than three because of the side guard that we added. So I'm going to cut it out. I have cut out the dart, so I'm going to place it back. Then blend. Also going to press out a little bit. So this is what I have here. So the next step is for me to add my necessary seam allowances. My half inch up here half inch here half inch here i'm not going to add any half inch here because it's going to be on fold then i'm going to add my side seam i'm going to add one inch then on the that half inch i have already added my zip allowance here so i'm sure adding my necessary seam allowances to my pattern so um that's it so i'm going to start cutting it out my three and then my four so everything is everything is set so i'm going to i'm going to cut it out on the fabric then uh, so iron we are going to sew it together then we will see the final result of this corset so remember to use the hashtag dbcyc for your submission of your videos and also for a shout out on my social media handles